so it's actually beginning. I am finally, after a year of preparation, going to Shanghai to get an internship in printing. So this is probably one of the most exciting moments of my whole education and it's in the fifth semester that we will finally be actually working at a printing company. For that, I, I'm actually sitting in the airport right now. I had to find this restaurant because the airport was so loud. Uh, this weekend, starting today, I'll be going to Shanghai in a place called Kunshan to visit a bunch of different print companies. And I thought I would take you guys with me because it's really exciting. And I am a little nervous because I've never been to Shanghai and I've luckily found my way to the airport. <laughs> this is my first time doing all of the airport stuff in Chinese. In another way, I'm really excited to go to Shanghai because I don't really imagine for myself a long-term life in Xi'an, but in Shanghai or Shenzhen, Beijing, these large cities with, with an international drawing and international printing companies, especially like Shenzhen and Shanghai, I would probably rather live. And also, if there are more international people, that might be a little bit more comfortable. This really is the culmination of a lot of, of hard work and learning a language and <coughs> living in Germany and really studying a subject that I really like. And yeah, I can't wait to, to bring you guys with me to see sort of my first impressions and bring my family with me indirectly through YouTube and maybe get a look at my, at my reactions while I'm walking around in this huge city. So without further ado guys, Let's go to Shanghai. So I arrived in one piece and that's cool and all, but since I booked the wrong ticket because everything was in Chinese at the time, I landed at the International Airport. And the part of Shanghai that I want to go to is two and a half hours away. Where have I just arrived? <laughs> so welcome to my hotel room. I can't tell if this hotel is really nice or just trying to be nice. And I'm having a little bit of culture shock right now. It's, I've only been in China for a month, so please have patience with me. <laughs> I would like to take you around this room really fast for five seconds and just, and just mention some of the things that are shocking me. <laughs> when I arrived, the receptionist said they had no rooms with windows. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Maybe you can give me a room with a window, please? And she was like, no, I'm sorry. And I was like, okay, I guess that's okay. Uh, and then uh, I walked into the room and I was like, wow, there are blinds here, but like, <laughs> it's just a wall, <laughs> okay? And here is a massage chair. That's a cool, uh, that's cool that this is in my room. Um, I <laughs> I've never seen a massage chair in a hotel room before. For your safety, please keep your door locked. This is one thing that lets me know that I'm at the top of the top of the world over here. I have Western toilet with toilet paper. And then you have to bring my own. I mean, all in all, I don't think it's that bad of a hotel room for my first room that I booked with a Chinese website, uh, through a Chinese app, just using Chinese. And the entire trip to get here, I only use Chinese. Uh, I just still am not used to living in China after a month. And yeah, but I, I think I can live here for two days. It's fine. And, uh, yeah, more importantly, tomorrow, companies, and I will look up how to get there in the morning. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night and I will see you in the morning. Ah, oh, never mind. I'm not gonna go to bed yet because the power just went out in my room. So I'm gonna go to the front desk and talk to them and see what's up. And then I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> so, as everything in China that I think that I understand but don't, the plan for this weekend has changed a bit. Last night around 3 a.m. I was just looking around at how I would actually get to these places and honestly I just totally underestimated how big Shanghai is. 
The first company that I was planning to go to is around three hours away from this hotel with public transport or a hundred dollars, a hundred American dollars away with the taxi. The other companies also make it a little bit difficult. There are there are sort of four companies around me right now that I would like to see, but the thing is, is the planning is not so clear. When I, when I originally planned with them to visit these companies, they had said that I could just contact them when I get here and it's no problem. We can just meet up and, and they can give me a little tour of their plants. But things don't work that way in China. And I'm making phone calls right now trying to figure out what time exactly or when I can actually go visit these companies. This is nightmare city for me just to imagine coming to Shanghai and doing all this stuff for no reason. Right now I'm trying to contact one company that does uh, the manufacturing of flexography plates. Right now it's lunchtime in China so most of the workers aren't there but I'm trying to contact them and see if I can head over there. Um, if, if nothing works out between any of these companies that I've been planning, there is one more company that is sort of a shining star in this whole situation. It's a totally Chinese company. They sell products internationally, but they have no they have no branches in any other countries, which is a little strange for me. But their location is good. Um, their their size is good. They're they're a little bit medium sized. They have other branches in China, but they don't have any branches internationally. And they do flexogra flexographic packaging printing, and really promising industry. And I could probably learn a lot at their at the branch near here. Their coworker said that I can call them in about 30 minutes and talk to them, but they're actually not. They're they're sort of the farthest away from the city. Actually, they're in a place called Kunshan. They're they're very well connected to Shanghai, so I could go from their company to Shanghai faster than I could go from most companies in Shanghai to the actual city part of Shanghai. If if none of this works out then I will just make an appointment with them and I'll go to Kunshan tomorrow instead of on Sunday as I was planning. But I think the lesson to take away here is that I still don't understand China and I haven't, understand, I haven't understood the sort of social intricacies of planning tours of a print production plant. But hopefully it'll still work out. I'm going to give it a little bit of time and I will keep you guys updated. One of the weirdest things about what's going on right now is if I go to Kunshan tomorrow and visit this company, uh, it was originally recommended to me and sort of, I was connected with them through this Swiss guy that I met on LinkedIn. That would mean that I, as an American, went to Germany to study, to come to China, to get help from a Swiss wizard <laughs> to work in Kunshan. It seems like a like the weirdest international thing that could possibly happen. And just like that, Hunter has once again a hotel and this time I'm gonna ride the high speed rail to Kunshan in two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and go there and just wait an hour because I can't figure anything out. <laughs> Even with the help of Chinese people. Oh. Newsflash, blam, Chinese magic. I don't know how this always happens, but it always does. Something always works out. I just got a phone call from, phone call from my originally most interesting digital print manufacturing company. And they knew the, they know the lady that I had been contacting from this company in Kunshan, and they had just been talking and she was able to introduce me and now I'm gonna have an appointment at that company on Monday. Uh, so I think the weekend in Shanghai has been extended. All right, here we go. My first Chinese high-speed rail ride for like 17 minutes.
uh, <laughs> next stop of this journey, of which I have no idea, is the hotel that I booked earlier today. Let's hope that it has windows. <laughs> oh, I learned quick. This hotel that I booked this time is the right one. Check out the window. <laughs> There's a window that I can look out. These buttons are all just touch panel. They're really nice touches. And this, ho this, this hotel room costs almost half the price of one night at that hotel in Shanghai. Uh, Shanghai's hotels, I, I guess I have discovered, are super expensive. Uh, and the, the, the final touch of this hotel is a Japanese toilet. I've only seen them on TV. But they have a sauce button for when the Japanese toilet gets the best of you. Wow, to be honest though, I really feel so much better in this hotel room than in that hotel room in Shanghai. I might just stay here until Monday when that company wants me to come visit. <laughs> we've, we've gotten this far in the video and we have not actually done anything with print yet. What is this? At least tomorrow I've made the appointment, 10 o'clock in the morning I will be at that print, uh, that packaging print company. I'm excited and we'll get to that tomorrow, finally. All right, here we go. First company. Waiting on the taxi. The visit with that packaging company was amazing. To explain exactly what they do, if you have ever seen the sort of squishy foil paper packaging, uh, it's called Tetra Pak uh, in Germany. Tetra Pak, I guess, is what it will be called in America. But they normally package drinks and all sorts of consumables and that kind of material. And they basically print packages made of that material. They have, they have about 500 employees in that one plant that I just visited. They do pre-press, press, the cutting, they do the, the lamination, they do the, the packaging, all of the processing. They, they offered me an apartment outside of the workers campus. They offered me pay for an intern and they sounded like they were offering me a long-term job to be honest. They even said that they could help me write my bachelor's thesis and they said they want to start targeting the, the German and American markets and that's kind of where I would play a role in the company. I have one more company to visit, but I doubt that that company will be as awesome as that company that I just visited. Now, as you can tell by these videos, I have come back to Shanghai. I have arrived at a youth hostel because I now have the weekend in Shanghai to do nothing. I might just show you a few clips from the weekend and then we'll get back to doing company stuff. Monday morning. I'm heading back to Xi'an today. I have one more company to visit and it is right now about five o'clock because before I leave Shanghai I thought the most valuable use of my time would be to capture the sunrise over the Bund. The things that you missed over the weekend that I didn't bring you to see were on Saturday night I went to my first Chinese club and that was crazy. And what was even crazier was the hangover that I had yesterday. I pretty much just stayed in bed and did nothing all day. I would also like to say that over the past month and a half of being in China, I have loved every day so much. I cannot wait for my mom and stepbrother to come visit me. Honest, I am feeling it. I am exhausted. 
the plan is to visit this company in about an hour and a half and then I'm gonna take the train around four o'clock to Xi'an. So I just left the second company. If I am honest, uh, I was super appreciative of the tour that they gave me and their facilities were really impressive. But that company is just so huge and they're not very flexible. Uh, the location isn't the greatest. Uh, I was really impressed by how many different inks they produce. I don't think I've ever seen a company that produces almost every type of ink on site in like three workshops next to each other. And their research department was also really cool. Uh, it sounded kind of like she really wanted me to work in the research department. I don't really favor the theory of, of printing inks. I think, honestly, that my decision is already pretty clear. I think I'm gonna work at the packaging company. Yeah, these past four days have been amazing. And I was glad that I was at least, despite having a few hiccups with the other companies, that I was at least able to check out these, these two companies and really I just, just see printing stuff. I, I love that. I, I wish that I could be a professional printing company visitor. <laughs> I love seeing, their, seeing printing equipment. Now I'm headed back to the hostel. Gonna maybe take a nap and then talk to you guys before I take the train back to Xi'an. So it's actually almost been a week in editing that video. It's been the most fun video that I've ever made. And those four days in Shanghai and Kunshan were the most important and most entertaining and most adventurous days that I've had in China so far, I would say. Uh, right now, my teacher is working on the internship contract with the company, and that should be ready in the next few weeks. And my internship will be starting on the 20th of May. So I don't have very much longer. I think I have about a month and there are more videos to come. And most importantly, thank you guys so much for coming with me on this really cool trip. I had a ton of fun. There were a lot of really interesting moments. I definitely hope that I see you guys in the next video.